Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Bottom Left in Corner. We have Red Machine starting as the Purple Zerg. I'll let you guys make conclusions there. By the way, STPL has started up again. Team Red is part of those groupings. They have a very uh, subtle logo if you want to go check that out. But the matches are very fun. Uh, go check out STPL on Twitch. Really fun commentary there. Bottom right hand corner, we have Gypsy starting as the Blue Terran. This is part of NA Team Battles. This map is Ascension, which I think I've covered once or twice, but I wanted to get go over it once again. This is old, old school map. Blue Storm rotated into a three-player map. The big difference I want to point out is that in the original Blue Storm, you had a natural expansion that was very exposed with a cliffside edge to Mutalisk Fire. This one is much more protected comparatively interior to Mutalisk Fire, although this base, I guess you could maybe rotate. Anyway, point being, it's not quite as... The Mutalisks aren't quite as strong comparatively. It does have still a wide open base for drops and for the Mutalisks to travel into, but it doesn't have quite the mineral line that's lined up where Mutalisks can just walk back and forth, uh, walk, fly back and forth, and just harass that line. Special thanks to Gypsy once again for getting me these replays. Check out Gypsy on Twitch at Gypsy93, I believe, and also Machine at Machine USA on Twitch. And if you follow them, let them know that you either saw this cast or things along those lines, mostly because I want to get more of these. These are some of my favorite matches to do. If not my, so it's like the finals of Chobu League, Hasu League, some of the little, the insane matches in there, and like these. Whenever I get a good match where I can highlight really awesome streamers out there, it really hypes me up. Just, it's like, yeah, doing something for the community. It's my weird ass, I don't know what's going on with me mentally that way, where I'm like, yeah, who cares about Diggity? I care about all these other streamers out there. It's because I like Brood War, getting bigger and stronger, being part of something. That's what it is. Anyway, Zerg, drone headed to the bottom right-hand corner. It looks like it is going to get that scout out, the Overlord making way to the north. So it's going to be a little bit out of the way. Gypsy's going to end up scouting to the 12 o'clock location first, and then cycling back around. No front door seal for Gypsy, and he is just opening up barracks. He has not planted a Vesping Geyser, and he is floating some minerals, which suggests he's potentially thinking was maybe thinking about doing something else, but now with that drone scout in the base and actually walking up and seeing the lack of geyser, he's actually backed out to the natural expansion, potentially to deny what could have been an early command center. Gypsy still floating a little bit of minerals. Marines pushing out. And this is almost, I'm wondering if this was a play for the map or if this is a play specifically against Machine because Machine is known for playing much more macroeconomic styles. And oftentimes, more or less what he'll do is, is he'll play a very similar build over and over and over again and not have an immense amount of variation on it. I'm not sure if that's the case these days. That certainly was the case in the past. It looks like he is definitely opening up two hatch. He's got four Zerglings being built on the way, and he's doing it right in front of Gypsy. Gypsy getting eyes on, first of all, when that layer is morphing. So he should have a good idea. Command Center, yeah, being built and skipping a lot of Marines and a bunker in the midst of that because of that scouting information. So a Marine just hanging out in the front, Third Marine's going to follow. He's getting that refinery up. Already is building that engineering bay. Which I think is wise. Because because he went for that command center. Because he went for that command center early. Ooh, he's got some Zerglings incoming. So the four Zerglings making the way across. Only one Zergling going to sit back on this SV. If Gypsy's not careful. Well, he's got three Marines here. He's got to be sure to micro them decently well. Because Zerglings, every once in a while, can surprise you. Looks like they're the bunkers being built. But... Let's see if these Zerglings can get on top of it and cancel it. The SCV is exposed. They're just running right by. There are two SCVs right there to go ahead and do some linebackering. Machine now trying to get some damage done. Looks like he's not quite able to get any kills, but he is able to do a little bit of damage. Four Marines now pressing the rest of those Zerglings back. It looks like that bunker will finish. And the Marines now safely inside. Lair is finished. And we do... Are we seeing a Spire yet? Looking for the Spire. There's the Spire. Just now plopping down. A little bit too early for my own good engineering base up level one weapons being upgraded but because of that early command center we're seeing and only a single barracks pumping marines at this stage he is going to need a larger number of turrets i believe to push back a potential incoming mutalisk harassment and typically what machine does with this build is yeah you'll see he'll go mutalisks and grab a quick third base it looks like usually this works better i think on maps that have ramps because oftentimes what he'll want to do is transition back to lurker and try to play things that way. But you need a larger amount of lurkers to kind of defend these maps. So I'm almost wondering if his stereotypical uh, Mutalus build is going to play out. He is grabbing a second extractor. But usually what he wants to do with this is rather than going for any sort of 
all in with Mutalisks typically, what he'll want to do is go ahead and go into the build style where it's like keeping that Medic Marine Force back, which I'm not sure that he's going to have a lot of trouble with this time because of the economic opener from Gypsy. Ooh, going up to four barracks now. Spire is just finishing, but again, this is not, it's just not a lot of Medic Marines. Gypsy is going to need to plant down a large amount of turrets. Otherwise, there is a potential moment here where basically Machine's just going to be able to run him over. Missile turret here in the bottom right-hand corner. Rain, or Stim's being upgraded, which will help. But the, keep in mind, this is basically, what, six Marines and a single Medic? As six Mutalisks are being built, two additional turrets there on the way. And it looks like there are seven Mutalisks being queued. This could be a fast game. I'm wondering if Machine... If he just... Here's the thing. Oftentimes, a Machine will sit back and not go for the kill. He'll just try to play the safer, longer economic style. But I'm wondering if these Mutalisks get into the base and see the pure lack of Marines, <clears throat> if he'll continue to just produce Mutalisks. He is getting that uh, Flyer Carapace to follow, but he could wreak a lot of havoc very, very rapidly. It looks like the Mutalisks grouping up. There are six Mutalisks here. Starting to press in, finding a couple turrets there. And it looks like he is going to be pressed back initially. And if he doesn't get a lot of damage done, actually, I think Gypsy is going to be able to follow this up with a fairly strong follow-up because he's got those four barracks rolling now. A really strong economy behind all of this. Trying to find a hole. Looks like he is able to kill a few SCVs, but one Mutalisk goes down. And it looks like he is building additional Mutalisks, so that's nine Mutalisks out in the air. Gypsy now unloading with those Marines, and he's starting to press forward with that Medic Marine Force. Is Machine going to see it? Finding it in the gap, a great place to engage, but losing yet another Mutalisk. Fantastic micro from Gypsy thus far. Picking these Mutalisks off. Or maybe bad micro, I'm not sure if it's just unlucky, or maybe bad micro. The Zergling's trying to sweep by, another Mutalisk getting picked off, and everything going in Gypsy's favor here. Machine's still trying to micro and keep these Marines back, but he has lost so many Mutalisks. A scan might be able to kill that Overlord as well. It looks like it's at least getting pushed back, but Gypsy in a fantastic situation now. Third gas is up. Looking for Lurker Tech to be on the way, but Machine has just done... I'm not sure if it's a lag or just a, the angles or what, but that, or that plus one kicking in. That plus one, he's really managed to soften up this Mutalisk force. Gypsy's slowly moving forward and just bullying these Mutalisks out. In the meantime, the four barracks are humming. We do have the starports actually starting up behind this. And Gypsy's going to have a great mid-game. It feels like he's just accelerated, accelerated everything. Really only lost a single SCV. Has really kept another Mutalisk getting picked off. Machine having a lot of trouble with this level 1 weapons upgrade. Medic Marine Force in the mid-game. And here I thought that Gypsy might just get run over instead. Putting on a clinic and just picking Mutalisk after Mutalisk out of the air. 12 o'clock base is getting decently saturated. But Gypsy feeling comfortable enough that he's gone ahead and plopped down the two store parts. He's adding two additional barracks. Machine trying to buy himself some time to go ahead and push tech. But he doesn't quite have the Queen's Nest down. He doesn't have... I don't think he is. Lurker tech is still working. So he's got to sit on these Mutalisks for a bit longer. But here's the thing. With Gypsy, he's already got those starports building. He's got the science facility on the way. I think there's going to be radiates out there. And a sizable medic marine ball. And I don't know that Machine is going to have the Lurkers, this efficient amount of Lurkers, to really defend and push this back. Carapace 1 has clicked in now for Machine. That's going to make these Mules a little bit sturdier against this level 1 weapons. He does have a lot of Mules overhead, starting to pick away at those Medic Marines now on the front door. But more Medic Marines are filtering in for Gypsy. Eight Mules up in the air. This attack force is dwindling, but really the timer here for Machine is the science vessels and the research of irradiate comparatively. Lurker Tech just now finishing. And this is, yeah, machine style. Just pick away at that Medic Marine Ball. Be, keep it up. Get the rest of your tech up. But Gypsy up. 16 supply. Another Mutal is getting picked off. He's got all six barracks running. There's irradiate researching. And this is kind of the timer on this. Is He's really dedicated to this. It looks like two Lurkers are able to morph to the north. Gypsy starting to press out. I'm wondering the timing on this if Machine has in fact done it. If he's bought himself enough time to go ahead and allow this third base to be established unharassed or at least defended in such a way that Gypsy can't really 
push through. Here's the thing though, this is not a ramp. This is not a ramp. There are going to be, there is going to be detection momentarily. The Mutalists are still trying to poke away at this. This is a sizable medic marine force pushing to the north. This is, looks like two stacked lurkers, a third one morphing in. There is a creep colony behind this. It just requires more than a typical ramped map. Science vessels are out. Irradiate is going to be here momentarily. And one good irradiate on those Mutalists, and those Mutalists are more or less going to be neutralized. We'll see if Machine can keep those. Here's the thing. Sometimes I've seen players do a pretty good job of sneaking those Mutalists out or at least keeping them spread at this stage in the match, but that makes them much less effective. Now the Mutalists pushing up, looking for an irradiate. There's the irradiate on those Mutalists. Two irradiates and a bunch of Mutalists just getting devastated. And now Machine basically is only sitting on Lurkers to try to defend the North. He has yet to have the Defiler Mound up, so he's in a bit of trouble. He has got two Evolution Chambers, so there's a timing here where Gypsy... Well, first of all, Gypsy feeling very comfortable going ahead and establishing additional base. But Machine just has to sit back. He cannot do anything at this stage until he gets that Defiler Mound out and those Lurkers up. In the meantime, Gypsy continues to pour out troops, and he's also got dropships. That's what I was actually waiting for. I wanted to bring this up as far as a, a problem on this map, but, uh, and I should have said it. I should have said it earlier. Dropships now floating in, 30 supply ahead for Gypsy, and keep in mind these Lurkers on the front are going to have to reposition. And those Marines do have level one weapons, so it means they're going to... Oh, trying to morph here. I don't know that there's just not enough to defend. I think this is going to be an early GG from Machine. Lurker, four Lurkers making their way across, being engaged. One dying already, the second one getting picked off. And it looks like, yeah, they stand. More Lurkers flooding through the Nidus Canal. But here's the thing, Lurkers out of position like this, where they need to run into a defensive situation, it is just very difficult. Mutalists floating up, trying to pick off those science vessels in desperation. More Lurkers are able to establish and save the hatchery somehow. But Machine is expending a lot of troops in this effort. Finally, Machine able to clean this up with some Lurkers and Mutalists overhead, but he lost a lot in the midst of all that. Gypsy, in the meantime, going ahead and scooting back out, he's established that third that uh, his third base at that three o'clock location third at the three but machine basically at half the supply of gypsy in this follow-up and the science vessel count continues to grow and he's going ahead and tacking on additional barracks and looking really good in the weapons category machine trying to get an ultralist cavern down but the dropships are still up in the air, along with those science vessels. There could be another drop in the main. And once again, I don't know that Machine's going to have enough to defend this. Maybe if he can have a Defiler preemptively in position. He's got a single Mutalist out trying to keep an eye on where that army is. It looks like he's missing Gypsy's troops, though. Another set of dropships loaded up to go directly into the main. And there is so much important tech right here that could get taken down so rapidly. Unloading science vessels overhead. The question is, is what does he go for first? Pressing forward, going after that Ultralist Cavern. A Defiler does spawn. It's very quickly wiped out. Drones melting. And that's GG from Machine, realizing he just does not have enough to defend in his main. Gypsy playing well. It just felt like he was just a step ahead at every stage of that match. Had just all the pressure, map control, uh, level one weapons, kept... That's typically, I think that's the game that Gypsy wants to play right there. Uh, doing a pretty good job overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to the next match, but it should be a fun one. Thanks for listening.